Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with yet another video of the Arizona Sports Fan. I want to thank every single one of you new and old subscribers that have been following my channel, you know, for the past couple months. I really do appreciate it. Our goal for subscribers for the end of October was 300. Now, I don't know if any of you noticed, but we are currently at 400 subscribers. Like that's insane. Um, I really do thank every single one of you guys who hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it, guys. Um, can we hit 500? Can we hit 450? What do you think is achievable? We have about 14 more days, about two more weeks in this month. Do you think we can go ahead and hit 400? I'm sorry, not 400. Do you think we can hit 500? I don't know, guys. Uh, I might have to come up with another goal pretty soon, but uh, I have no doubt we're going to go ahead and smash that. But, guys, today we're going to talk about the preview for the Arizona Cardinals versus the New York Giants, guys. Let's go ahead and get it. Roll that intro. Alright guys, now I appreciate you coming back. Now, like I mentioned before on the intro, what we're going to talk about today is the preview for Arizona Cardinals versus the New York Giants. Now, what we're going to talk about is the key players that we need to look out for and what we can do to get a win um, and make it three in a row because honestly that's all what we're hoping for right now once we get that three in a row the momentum is gonna be awesome especially going to that Saints game now we'll talk about that next week we're not gonna go ahead and jump the gun quite yet now a few things that we need to go ahead and look for um, during this New York giant matchup with the Arizona Cardinals now some key players that we need to look for I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the man their running back which is set to play Saquon Barkley. Oh now, Saquon Barkley, uh, this man right here, had a breakout rookie season that astonished a lot of people. Now, a lot of people knew he was going to be a pretty awesome player, you know, coming from Penn State, but I don't think anybody really realized how of a dynamic player he was. Now, last year in fantasy, he was one of those players that you must had on your roster because he gave you a lot of points because what they did was they fed Saquon a lot now he's great rushing the ball and he's great um sorry rushing the ball and he's great catching the ball as well he's very very similar to David Johnson our guy here our running back um, he's a very very dynamic player and we need to contain him he is coming off an injury right now so we don't know if he's a hundred percent to be honest with you but um, what we gotta do is make sure that we are constantly harassing that run game and making sure that they cannot get it going uh, first thing we need to do as the Arizona Cardinals is we need to get a lead. Um, once we get a lead, they can become one-dimensional. Once they become one-dimensional, they'll start throwing the ball more. Now, I do understand Saquon Barkley is going to be available for the run game. I'm sorry, the pass game as well. So that's something that we need to go ahead and look forward to and stopping as well. So I think first thing they need to do is stop the run game and make sure they can realize that, hey, nope, you're not going to be running on the Arizona defense. Not not this week especially because we have one of our key players coming back and Patrick Peterson now of course he's not in the box but he's going to be defending one of their number one top wide receivers now that's my point number two who's going to be their top wide receiver who should we be looking out for um in my mind I would have thought Sterling Shepard but I honestly don't think he's going to be playing this week so a person that we need to look out for is their tight end um Evan Ingram this man can catch the ball very very well um, he's one of those tight ends that we all need to look out for as far as being Arizona Cardinal fans and Arizona Cardinal players he's a tight end that automatically is gonna make you public enemy number one because obviously we can't we can't defend tight ends right now to save our life I do hope because Patrick Peterson came back it's gonna go ahead and give us a little bit of a relief because I'm assuming uh, Brock is gonna be covering some sort of slot wide receiver or if it comes down to it hopefully be blocking um, you know running with Evan Ingram so I feel like he's also another player that we need to go ahead and look out for so so far we got Saquon Barkley and we got Evan Ingram their tight end now 
One player that I want to go ahead and mention that is having a pretty good season so far. Um, now, it's not a magical, spectacular season, but he used to be an Arizona Cardinal, and I was really, really sad to see him go, but unfortunately, he was riddled with injuries when he was with the Arizona Cardinals. Now, this man that I'm talking about was opposite side of Chandler Jones at one point, the one, the only, Marcus Golden. Now, Golden is an awesome pus a pass rusher. <clears throat> We need to make sure that we're contained that man. Um, so far, I feel like our offensive line is doing pretty decent for you know what we had last year. So unfortunately, a lot of times we we think of the offensive line for the Arizona Cardinals, we think bad, 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 bad. They're all terrible. But we also got to take to consideration last year was pretty much like a carousel of plug and play people that we try to get in there that just never seem to work. Um, but. Marcus Golden is somebody that we need to look out for. He's going to be probably one of their most dynamic pass rushers, and he's going to be trying to get some sacks against Kyler Murray. And we got to make sure that our O-line holds it down, gives Kyler Murray the, <clears throat> the time to make some passes down the field, and whenever he feels a little froggy, he can basically break it out for about 10 to 15 yards rushing. So I really do hope that that could be an opportunity. Now for the Cardinals side of it all, three keys to success to make sure that we can get our offense going and basically come out with the W. Key number one, always play with the lead. Like I mentioned before, if we can get a lead on the New York Giants, we're going to force Daniel Jones to try to beat us through the air. Now I'm not saying he's a bad quarterback, but so far he has proven he can be a sustainable quarterback but whenever any quarterback is put in a one-dimensional offense most of the time they can't succeed so that's all what i'm saying is we want to make sure that we're we're always playing with the lead um even when you start off that very first drive come out like a cannon shot out of a rocket you need to make sure that we put some points on the board if it's a touchdown or if it's going to be a field goal as long as we have the lead throughout the game i think we'll be pretty eight i think we'll be pretty good Key number two, make sure this man, David Johnson and Chase Edmonds is consistently in your game plan. Mix it up with some pitches, with some you know short passes along the flat. As long as you can keep both of them on the field as much as you possibly can, I feel like that would be great because that adds us dynamic because we have two great running backs and then we have Kyler Murray doing what he does and basically juking people and you know also being able to rush the ball as well. And a cherry on top of the ice cream, Christian Kirk might come back. So please, please, if we want to get this win, we do need all our offensive weapons. I'm not saying the New York Giants is a dynamo, like a strong team, but you know, kind of neither are we. So we have to prove ourselves to make sure to find out we can get three in a row because that would be such a such an awesome momentum um, especially going to that Saints game guys but like I mentioned we're not going to talk about that to next to the next week we're not going to jump the gun guys so let me know what your three keys of success are go ahead and um, put it down below in the comments like and if you're new subscribe guys let's go ahead and see if we can hit two uh, so 450 by the end of this month guys let's go ahead and get it I'm out